do you feel lack of motivation as a man or maybe even as a woman do you feel that uh, yeah life's not treating you well do you feel you lack discipline do you do you feel you can't do things which you know you should do do you feel that everybody else is getting ahead of you do you feel that you are not you know you can do something but somehow you are not able to do it do you feel you you are still not there where you could have been or where you should have been or where you wanted to be well if so then it is highly likely that you you are actually losing semen okay so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology this is a post from my instagram um yeah so 10 alarming signs that you are wasting your semen okay so this is gender neutral advice uh, for both men and women um because as kali yuga is progressing ahead uh, people they're not able to uh, follow brahmacharya celibacy uh, to a reasonable extent at least even even that they are not able to do and uh, pornography is rampant uh, adult material is rampant uh, extramarital sex premarital sex all this is rampant these are ages of uh, these are instruments of kaliraj actually <coughs> so let us see what are 10 alarming signs that you are wasting your semen okay so before i go into this you know semen is a uh, very important uh, for our mental physical and spiritual well being and uh, the more we lose it uh, the more we waste it uh, yeah the more we lose ourselves okay okay what is the first sign yes you put sex on a pedestal and your entire life revolves around the opposite sex all you desire in life is sex now you also desire other things <laughs> <clears throat> not that you just desire sex but sex is something which you cannot get out of your head it is there 25 by 8 okay more than 24 by 7 it's like it is it is so bad that it consumes your day to day interactions and it's always in the mind you you put the opposite sex in such a pedestal that you <clears throat> you plan everything around them you know oh when when are they going when is he going when is she going i'll i'll be there when he or she is there i can see you know i can enjoy i can do this i can do that you know entire life that becomes like the goal of your life it becomes like the bindu okay the center and for men uh this comes in a gross form you know masturbating uh, gross sex uh, then watching pornography uh, flirting uh, yeah and for women also it can come the similar way but for women uh, it comes more uh, than uh, physically it comes more like you know uh, getting obsessed with attention from men basically okay especially in instagram you know like uh, unknown men uh, yeah you are enjoying attention from them right so it is also like uh, having sex with somebody okay <clears throat> okay so now number 2 you give or you enjoy attention from others even after being in a committed relationship the thought of staying committed to one person is like a nightmare for you it is something which is unbelievable for you. you 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 can't you can't understand how can somebody stay with one person committed not just stay uh, officially but stay committed by heart and by uh, choice it is something you cannot fathom you you feel it's uh, it is unnatural to you okay because you give attention to others or you enjoy attention from others if you're a man then you are giving attention to other women and if you are a woman you are enjoying attention from others okay from other men <clears throat> even after being in a committed relationship and the biggest thing is you feel it's perfectly normal 
<coughs> you feel oh yeah i mean what's the big deal you know it, it, i am i am not cheating you know it's like i'm just giving some attention i'm just doing things here there you know uh, it's okay it's not bad it's modern after all it's the 21st century right we are not living in satyuga this is kaliyuga these things happen right and i am also just like any normal person i am like uh, i am not somebody who is like a lord ram or devi sita i am not somebody who is like a great sage you know i am not a sant mai koi sadhu mahatma nahi hu theek hai mai karta hu sab karta hai mai bhi karta hu thoda thoda <coughs> No, so and then this gets more gross you know you get into open relationship you have sex with multiple people uh, even when you are in a relationship or even if you are married you know, worse uh, worse than that so you become like a dog you become like an animal you you become like this uh, lusty beast which is going around uh, you know uh, yeah you are go- going on a rampage basically right and uh, whenever you hear somebody has cheated you know you try to justify oh maybe you know the other person was not fulfilling his or her needs you know sexual needs maybe that is why this person cheated you know <coughs> um, yeah it is like uh, not the cheater's fault it's like the fault of the cheated it's like the victim's fault or sometimes you feel the one who is who is cheating is actually the victim okay <laughs> life without sex seems unnatural to you a day without porn or masturbation seems seems unimaginable you can't you can't go one single day without watching some adult material and see when you are watching all this what happens is uh, your your body gets used to this you know this quick pleasure secreting hormones you know, like dopamine serotonin and all this uh, these are not bad hormones they are pleasure hormones basically you know they are secreted when you do different things you know when you sleep another hormone is secreted when you are uh, doing exercise another hormone is secreted you know where, where, when you are having sex then also one hormone is secreted these are pleasure hormones these are like reward hormones which uh, come at the end actually but when you become habituated to this on a daily basis then what happens <laughs> when you are doing something very normal you know you are doing some you are studying you are going to the college you know you are doing this you are doing that then it becomes so boring and dull and empty and lifeless <coughs> Uh, because uh, you do not get the, because you know the normal day to day activities do not give you these kicks you know you are brushing your teeth you know you feel ah it's so boring you know why should i brush my teeth why should i take bath it's so super boring you know why should i um, yeah why should i do exercise it's boring you know everything seems like freaking boring it's like boredom is like uh, your second nature now you know anywhere you see anything without sex you feel oh my god it's such a burden it's it's bored it's boring and it's burdensome okay and how in the universe am i still doing it okay and everything seems pointless you know normal day to day life is like a nightmare for you without sex of course number 4 you are addicted to quick sensory pleasures for like for example in other areas of your life you know not just sexuality you know even you are addicted to sugar you are addicted to meat you are addicted to wine and outside food oh my god this is big you know because outside food you know hotel food they will make with lot of salt sugar fat and all this you know they, they will add double because they want to make you addicted they want to uh, keep uh, bringing you again and again so in india these apps are going viral these days you know uh, not these days you know from last so many years you know the swiggy zomato and all this e- even in germany why only india <coughs> and you are addicted to sugar you know because basically what is happening because of uh, quick quick sexual pleasures you know now you cannot have sex all the time you cannot masturbate all the time you know how many times can you masturbate in a day at, at max maybe 10 times <laughs> i mean i'm saying maximum it's like a illusory number you know maybe uh, so uh, but then what do you do you need to get those uh, pleasures by some uh, something else you know you can eat unlimited uh, 
sweets you know not unlimited but yeah you, you can still right <laughs> and this tendency comes in your career also you know shortcut for career advancement you know if you are a man you may use wrong means you know you may like uh, steal somebody's work or do all this you know if you are a man or, or sorry if you are a woman you may yeah you may try to tempt somebody by giving sexual f- favors you know you you could do all this or the other way around you could also go and steal something okay from somebody or yeah plagiarism forgery and all this you could do all this okay shortcuts your discipline is at all time low stock market goes you know all time high your discipline is at all time low <laughs> anything that you want to do you cannot do you 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 just can't it's like not possible you know you going to the gym just two days and you are losing your semen again and then the third day you are like oh my god i have no energy okay you are you have procrastinated so much that you now you feel ashamed to make a new commitment in any area of your life to anybody actually okay <clears throat> uh, you have lost your own self respect okay and uh, sim- because because you have broken somebody's trust so many times repeatedly nobody trusts you nobody likes you nobody believes in you nobody wants to be around with you everybody thinks you are uh, you are somebody who should be avoided okay <clears throat> and same is with profession you are missing all deadlines okay your boss is frustrated you are not getting promotion you may get fired also you know of course you may get fired for many other reasons uh, but uh, if your performance is perpetually below what is expected then maybe you are wasting semen this could be a symptom okay <clears throat> this is interesting you have hyper social anxiety disorder and there is zero assertiveness and confidence in you you completely you uh, you know people who watch too much porn and all this you no know, not too much you know even those who watch porn on a regular basis sometimes you know I, i've seen they avoid interaction you know you see them you meet them they'll be like oh they'll be a bit away you know of course this could come due to childhood trauma and other things but this is something which i have frequently observed you know they they, they are very fearful because they are doing something in the uh, in in the mind you know all the porn enjoyment everything is in the mind so they have gone so much in the mental world that the real physical world seems like uh, imagination or unattainable or something like that okay and you love to gossip you find people who complain uh, you always take the easy way out and whenever you have a competitor uh, uh, you will <coughs> you will try to uh, uh, you 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 will try to instead of competing you know doing market research getting ahead giving a better product you know getting more uh, attention that way <coughs> you will gossip because you you have a golden mantra you follow this rule if you can't destroy somebody destroy their name okay <coughs> so you will do perpetual gossip and destroy uh, somebody's reputation especially you will find uh, ladies doing this you know like perpetual gossip nowadays even men are behaving like that you know perpetually gossiping spreading false information misinformation lies everywhere you know wide away okay why what you are doing basically you are just taking the easy way out okay your spiritual practices are very superficial spirituality in the morning spirit in the night ha hum bhi jaate hain satsang mein kabhi kabhi i also visit spiritual communities you know yeah i visit them on sundays saturdays you know yeah it's nice you know you can socialize you can see some uh, good it's like you good for photography selfies you know oh we get free food right oh my god free prasad we get right in many temples in india so why not to go right amazing place hmm nice uh, uh, nice place you know good time for photography you know in the morning yeah yeah i just do some aarti this that and as the night comes as the sun sets you know you are back to your business again you know back to 
<coughs> where you are you are you are back basically you you are back to square one okay you are again indulging in this in the night again okay and next day morning well uh, you are you 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 are again clueless uh, after two three days again oh yeah yeah i should have done some thoda mala kar lete hai fir se na that night it's like that <coughs> you cannot take risks you fear risks you are only thinking of the possible most worst worst of the worst of the worst case scenarios you know if somebody tells you hey let's do this you you will think no what if this goes wrong what if that goes wrong you will think of all the things which can go wrong which will maybe never go wrong but you will still think and you will always run from and you will run away anything that makes you uncomfortable you will run away okay this is classic number 8 is classic number 9 you will favor the opposite sex hoping for sexual favors in return mm-hmm. men especially men are champions in doing this you know they will if they likes if they are sexually obsessed with somebody you know then they will you know give them more attention they will uh, talk to them nicely sweetly you know they will give them some gifts they will do this they will do that you know and why are they doing it because uh, uh, oh yeah maybe you know she has some mercy on me some day right <laughs> now you praise uh, the that lady you know more than what she is actually you know if, if she is good looking you will say oh wow you are so beautiful you know you you are like you, you are the most charming lady in the town you know you you will you might you might act that way you know or maybe deep down inside you also believe something like this but nonetheless you will you will always favor the opposite sex okay for for no reason even if so if you are a man and you you are obsessed with somebody you will always try uh, to you know um, praise that lady or you know try to put her in a pedestal and you know like uh, idealize them you know treat treat her like a god till the time she uh she lo- uh, she uh, puts her guard down right once it's done then uh, well bye bye <laughs> <clears throat> you perpetually suffer from low self esteem and you have desire lost the desire to grow in life you cannot grow you you have lost faith in yourself completely you are, you feel you are a gone case okay and bonus bonus is always help okay you let the opposite sex exploit you why this is related to point number 9 because you feel oh yeah so what you know let them exploit me because maybe some one fine day i will also exploit them right that is why you let them exploit you because you want to exploit them okay all right ladies and gentlemen i hope you liked uh, this post and um, i have another video on uh, how to preserve uh, how to stop wasting semen okay so if you are doing this uh, all this and if all these signs are there <clears throat> then uh, please uh, make sure that you are controlling your uh, semen uh, because uh, semen is very powerful you know it has life force so please do not waste it unnecessarily okay thank you very much if you want a consultation from me my website will be in the da- description section god is there with you all the time jay just look to him and you'll find him jay shri ram if you are new to the channel then subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who cannot control their semen okay thank you